say a few words about uh, the purpose of Jishan Lin Center. I want to gratefully acknowledge the three persons who have been instrumental in uh, bringing this center into existence. First of all, uh, Honorable Governor of Maharashtra, Sri Vidya, Sikar, Vidya Sagar Rauji, Vice Chancellor, Dr. Sanjay Deshmukh, and Consul General, Mr. Zheng Xuan. Why did we establish this uh, center? Because India, China are neighbors. China is in fact our largest neighbor, and it's a civilizational neighbor. We are so close, but also in some ways so far from each other, in terms of understanding each other, uh, in terms of uh, knowledge of each other. And this lack of knowledge, lack of understanding has uh, been responsible for the full potential of India-China relationship not having been realized. All of us know that uh, China is uh, an emerging, or rather it's already emerged as a global power. India is also emerging as a global power. And we both have responsibilities towards each other and towards the world at large. As you have seen on the panel that we have created, the panel begins with a very wise statement by Mahatma Gandhi, who says that I long for the day, and he said it in 1942, I long for the day when India and China will come together for mutual good, for the, Asia, for the good of Asia, and for the good of the world. And the time has come. Uh, this institute, as uh, <coughs> Vice Chancellor Dr. Deshmukhji rightly mentioned, is uh, in some way fulfillment of an announcement made by Honorable Chief Minister when he went to China last year. He said that uh, soon we, we shall establish a center for India-China studies in the name of Professor Ji Xianlin. Why Professor Ji Xianlin? He was a great Indologist, a Sanskrit scholar, and there is a statement that truly captures the, the closeness of India-China relationship as envisioned by the great scholars like Ji Xianlin. He said, India-China friendship is dreamt of in heaven and realized on earth. India-China friendship is dreamt of in heaven and realized on earth. And uh, soon, now that the physical infrastructure is ready, uh, soon we shall start uh, activities and we look forward to working very closely with the Confucius Institute, in fact, with all the, all the departments and centers of the university, and collaborations with the institutions in India and abroad. Uh, I want to make it very clear that uh, this university has the potential of establishing such new centers that pursue different uh, streams of knowledge, and also in rejuvenating existing centers, existing departments, so that the 160th anniversary of the university becomes a launching pad for a great leap forward for Mumbai University. We at the Observer Research Foundation and Reliance Foundation have been the initial sponsors of the center. And uh, we look forward to bringing many more, uh, many more uh, sponsors and supporters for this center. And we are determined, friends, we are determined to make Ji Lin Center one of the best centers for China studies in the world. You know, these days when we look for great centers of China studies, we look to European universities, American universities, it's high time that India, as the true civilizational neighbor of China, establishes great centers of learning. And that's our dream and that's our resolve. Thank you very much.
Malik ji and Sitaram Kunte ji, we look forward to working closely with each other. And whenever the Honorable Chief Minister visits China, uh, we shall have uh, a collaboration with Fudan University, with the Center of uh, Center for Gandhian and Indian, Indian Studies, and many other great universities in China. Thank you. Shia Shia.